Hello everyone, it's Boofy. Welcome to this playthrough of The Room. It's a puzzle type kind of game. I think I, uh, I even got this game gifted to me by the wonderful Tanji. So let's just dive in and see uh, what this game is about. This is the tutorial. Alright. I can drag the mouse to look around. Double click on the envelope. Uh, top of the save to focus on it. Slide to enter. Okay. Can we read that? You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are inside this box, along with something else. Something they said could never be built. It is the only one in existence, and it is the key to incomprehensible power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. With the enclosed key, I gift you one parting favor. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are as blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. A small brass key with an animal motif. Rotate the lid to line up the keyhole. And then drag the key into the keyhole. Turn it. Open it. Pick up the eyepiece, a curious eyepiece. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. Um, it doesn't do anything. Perhaps something's missing? What does the note say? Feed me and I shall survive. Drink and I shall die. A riddle. The solution must be somewhere. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. So you will find the answer somewhere on the safe. Uh, what does it do? It might be able to unscrew this if it had something to grip it with. Feed me or drink. Some of my old dusty books, I don't think they will help me here. Yeah, but something on the safe? I mean, we got this here. Which will do nothing. We got... That won't do a thing. Feed me and I shall survive, give me drink and I shall die. So let's use a hint here. Maybe there's a symbol on here that matches the riddle. A symbol. Do you think there's a symbol on the safe? I mean... I don't have anything to grip it with. And I don't see a symbol. But that's probably because I'm blind. Ah, that does something. Strangely shaped keyhole. Yeah, we need a lens. And the box is just the only... Oh, fire? Wait. A peculiar old key. There's something unusual about this key. You should take a closer look. It looks like I can turn the end to make the key into a different shape. Ah. Earth? Can I push Earth? 
Well, we got the key, and we got a keyhole. Doesn't fit, the key's in the wrong shape. Is it this key? It is this key. Uh, they seem to rotate, but there are no markings to show the correct position. I need to look elsewhere. Water. And air. So the answer was fire. Because if you feed fire, it will do its thing. And if you pour water on it, then it's uh, it's no longer fire. Right? Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. So that's fire. Uh, but where... It doesn't do a thing. Another lens, it's just an ordinary eyepiece. I need to look elsewhere. What is that? There must be a hidden keyhole. Do we have another keyhole? Wait, this looks peculiar. Ah! Uh huh. An ornately engraved metal plate. The end looks like it could be used as a wrench to open up this here. And now we fight. Yeah, it looks like it fit into the centerpiece. Oh, God. Okay, this is horrible. But now we can solve this puzzle. So you you do rotate. Um there. Oh, the middle one doesn't rotate. Like that. Interesting. More puzzles. Well, well, let's take it out for a closer look. We completed a chapter. Every little box is its own chapter. That is amazing. These three seals stand between me and the contents of this box. So what do we do with the seals then? It's locked up tight. There must be a way to get into it. Obviously. What's up here? Star? A star-shaped indentation. Is there anything... Yeah, there is. Oh, we can look what's inside. That opened up a book. An ancient leather-bound book. The cover seems very ornate. Um... Like that? That works. February 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace. With these barbaric instruments, I can barely read anything at all. But there is something there. Between earth and fire. Between water and air. I cannot see it. 
but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that which casts it. It is the final element. No. It brings meaning to the rest. Just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. The circle are pretty fools, blinded by the dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of uh, callow gold, it is the pursuit of this. A key looks like it's for winding up clockwork. Yeah, just use it there. A circular indentation seems to connect the mechanism inside. Played with a cock symbol, doesn't need to move. Do you? A plate with a lock symbol on it doesn't seem to move. So we got a key, we got a cog, and we got the eyeball. Plate with an eye symbol doesn't seem to move. And, oh, what is that? That's another hint. So that looks like the crown bit, which is... Ah. There. And then I noticed another one up here. Top left is the target thing. That one. So we need to look for another one. Yeah, that didn't work. What is this? Numbers. I don't know the numbers yet. And that's also something with numbers. We need a third symbol and then we can just uh, force it open. Nothing there. Nothing there. This looks different. Apparently not. Also, what are these numbers? Five, oh wait, five? Two, seven. This is so cool. So it's five, two, seven, and the, and the bottom one I cannot see. This is a two, five, two, seven, six. Uh, excuse me? Smells of burning? All right. What does it do? Is this a camera? <gasps> it is, it is a, it's a magic lantern. But I don't have... I don't have the right materials yet. This looks like the winding mechanism, but there should be some sort of key. Got that! Yeah, but we still need the fire there. What is this? A. And a B? My research continues at a snail's pace with this barbaric... I already read this. I already read that in the book? Okay, so that's a dead end. Was there... 
Doesn't seem like there is. Just a, it's a cross. We can zoom into this here. Is that, is that gonna show us the movie then? But also, what is this on the side here? What is this? Is there is there a third clue? Three, three. All right, it's out of three. And that star shape. See, I want I want the the third clue about that. We haven't found that yet. What's this clue? This contraption looks incomplete. Well, you don't say. Ah, oh, there it is. It's the thing with the with the plus. It's that one, wasn't it? Yeah. So now we can brute force it. That was easy. Heavy cast iron key. Where do we need a heavy cast iron key for? This area? No. Also, what what is this about? Cowl? So we need to find a word as well. Heavy cast iron key. There's something here. Open this, please. Why can I not open that? So what is this key about? All right, we need to find the place where to use that key. Yeah, this contraption seems incomplete. I already know. Where can we use the iron key? What is this? No, 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 up there. Do we have to put this just here? Is that it? I don't think so. I need to look for anything inconsistent or out of the ordinary. Well, really? You don't say. What was this here again? Or you just flip that switch. What is out of the ordinary? Why do we need a big cast iron key? Interesting. A new one. Why does only one of the cabinet pillars have a brass collar? Right? No, wait, there's two of them. Brass collar. Oh. Ah. So that's what you mean. What, 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 what did I do? Looks like a miniature telescope. My goodness. You put that here. No? Oh, do I have to un unfold it? That is so cool. Now we can put it there. There we go. And now nothing happens. Because we still need fire. Yeah, there's nothing to see until I get it working. We need fire. So we're going to figure out where to find fire next time. Thank you very much for watching The Room. And I'll see you then.